Thunderfoot, and people who think like you. If you ever, ever try to awaken any sort of sleeping giant that is hostile to any Muslim or non-Muslim innocent person, as mandated in the Qur'an, and the true interpretation of the Sharia that all true Muslims and the majority of the Muslims in the world share. We Muslims, the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our non-Muslim allies will send you to the God that you wish you knew. Not as a threat, not as a promise, but a mandate of justice. Oh no, I've been death-threatened by a self-proclaimed moderate Muslim reading from the Quran. Call a shrink, I'm a broken man. <laughs> what are you going to do, come to America and start gunning people down on the street who disagree with you? Is that how you, uh... Send you to the God that you wish you knew. <laughs> All I hear is the mumbling of a coward who thinks that in the West we give up our free speech if only you make enough death threats. Nah, it's not going to happen. Not to the mumblings of some religious cowards, no matter how psychotic they are. And even if your religion does make you deranged enough to kill an unarmed proponent of free speech on the streets of America, under the free, you know, uh, that is, even if you manage to re-import Islamic terrorism into the US, all you'll do is embody the concept that free people have the right to say what they want with the blood of the stalwart. And in doing so, that concept will become essentially immortal and indelibly impervious to primitive lowlifes such as yourself. You see, the way that I look at it is you have nothing to bargain with but death threats. But it's an empty bluff. All it takes to expose the impotence of your limp and flaccid cowardice is for people to call you on your paper-thin bravado. For you have nothing, and we have nothing to fear but fear itself. After that, all you can do is broadcast to the world that you're a bunch of nasty, deranged religious nutters from some barbaric Middle Eastern cult by killing a few brave men who refuse to submit to your tyranny. For the defence of that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a free people, calling your bluff is cheap at the price.